Greetings, everyone, and welcome back to the Giant Kitchen, part of the Giant House series. And as you can see, uh, I've started to set the table here. Let's get down here and take a close look at this. I got some uh, coffee going on here, or maybe hot cocoa, you know, whichever. It's just both of them are, are brown, but I got a coffee pot over there, so I was like, you know, we need a coffee mug. We got some bread here that's cut and ready to be served. Uh, we got a, this is supposed to be a soda can. Don't know what kind of soda, just, just a soda can. It's supposed to be a little, uh, one of those pop top type things on top of the soda can, you know. You know what I mean. And we got some regular old plastic cups here and one over there. And over here we've got, uh, I guess this is dad's root beer or, uh, or tea or something like that. It's supposed to be all glass, but I don't know. It looks kind of strange. I may I may end up changing this up later. I'm not sure. And uh, we got some forks. These, these, uh, man, I, I went through I don't know how many <laughs> different versions of a fork before I came to this. And this looks pretty good, I think. But uh, we got some butter and a butter knife. The butter cut there, some salt and pepper. And this paper towel roll was originally by Vincent Prue. He made me a nice paper towel roll. I did change up the blocks on it just a little bit, but the shape is still the same. And over here next to the toaster, we've got some toast that's already been toasted. And of course, we got the bread in the toaster ready to go. It's in sideways, I know. And we got some cereal boxes up here that I've started to put in. No idea what kind of cereal this is or anything, just <laughs> cereal boxes. We've also got some uh, some hand soap over here in a little dispenser and the uh, dishwashing liquid, which is literally the same thing as the ketchup bottle and the shampoo bottle in the bathroom, believe it or not. Also, I went ahead and uh, changed up the ketchup just a tiny bit. Uh, Vincent said that uh, the top was supposed to be white, so I changed it to white. Made a mustard bottle, which is almost out of the same thing. And then we've got the eggs, and it does actually open. Um, I'll probably take out an egg or two later on and, and replace one of them with a seat so that someone can hide in here. But And of course, the uh, controller and the switch won't be on there in the finished product. That was just to show you that it can open and close. Um, it, it can open and close. I said it can open and close. Uh, you know what? I'll, I'll look at this later. There's something obviously wrong with that. I have not added anything else to the giant china cabinet. We need to add some plates and dishes and other things. Planning on putting uh, either an old rotary phone here or a phone hanging on the wall like uh, was was common in the 80s. I've also completely painted the floor, not a big deal, but it's now white instead of completely unpainted as it was before. Now just to show you what it looks like when one of these tiles is unpainted, it looks like that. But now I've just painted it white. Um, let me know what you guys think about that. Um, I may change the uh, I may change that to alternating tiles or something. I don't know yet. And I've got it to set to nighttime, which is just some black blocks on the other side of the window there. But I found out it's going to be a little bit hard to put a nice blue skybox in there because if I just put blue back there, it looks really dark. It looks more like a stormy day. Now the sky and the giant bathroom is basically just a big panel with a light on it. But as you can see, as soon as I get far enough away, and I have to get pretty far away, I have to get almost back to the bathroom door here, but the light turns off as soon as I get that far away. And the problem with doing the same thing in the giant kitchen is the giant kitchen is a lot bigger. So there's gonna be a lot more places in there where you won't be able to see the lighting up the sky. So, and you guys let me know what you think about whether it should be nighttime outside or not. That is going to change the feel, hello. <laughs> it's going to change the feel of the kitchen just a bit or whether it should be foggy looking or maybe a stormy day or something like that let me know uh ideas that you would like to see and we'll check those out in a later video and see what the sky should look like at this point uh this is just an update video because i don't really have a whole lot of large things uh, to build anymore everything is going to be mostly small details like this i may do a toaster oven though and i may put it right there if i build one and I'll make a video about that if you if, uh, if you guys think you're interested in seeing me build a toaster oven. And we do need to kind of fill in this corner. It's pretty empty and dark. 
and this corner over here is empty. Uh, I'm not going to worry too much about the dishwasher. I don't think it's basically just another dish drainer anyway, and you've already seen me build that if you've been keeping up with the series. And if you're wondering how to get around the map, there is one video I have of when we uh, were showcasing the hide and seek mod where I actually used this, but it's going to be a common way to get around the kitchen because it's so big, it's going to be really difficult to get around if you're just walking or running. It's got a lot of spud guns here in the back and you just push the button kind of aim where you want to go and you go over here oh no i fell in the sink i can't get out of the sink yet ah! you press this button and you get launched ah, i fell in the sink again ah, trying this again oh now i'm in the floor oh but yeah well i'll add some jump pads and things later on to the floor down here so we can get back up there we go and now it's the time you've all been waiting for. It is time to announce the winner of the last bad hiding spot. And this week's winning comment is... In the space in the handle of the blender between the handle and the glass by Asimov Starling. And a 20 dollars Steam card is on its way. I don't really have another idea today for a bad hiding spot. This was mainly just an update video, and I'm sure more bad hiding spots will be coming in the future. Yeah, well, you guys let me know what you think about uh, this update and what you would like to see in future updates, future videos, any other ideas you might have. Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video if you like this video. And if you're interested in this kind of content, be sure to hit that subscribe button, and I will see you in the next one. And remember, I am Sir Fox.